hi guys welcome to my channel guys today in this video i am going to show you that how you can make this beautiful team section by using simple html css and bootstrap so okay guys first of all here we have one heading and after that we have one paragraph and after that we have four sections first of all one image and after that the name of the member and after that the profession and after that we have one paragraph and in the last we have some social media icons and all these icons i get from the phone awesome website from where you can get every type of icon for free and i use the same size of images so first of all here we have these four images and one uh, file okay guys let's get started but before starting with the bootstrap you have to copy the get the started template from the get bootstrap website just copy this template and paste it in your html file now just remove this unwanted content from here and start building this team section first of all i am taking the section with the class of team and inside this uh, team section I am taking one container and inside this container I am taking one row and inside this row I am taking six column six for the one image for the one profile and the six for the another profile of member let me copy this six column and paste it two times we want two rows uh, one for the right here I am taking one row and inside this row I am taking 12 columns 8 columns and we want these 8 columns in the center so I am taking margin left and right is auto and for the large screen there are, there are 8 columns and for the medium screen we have to take it 12 columns and for the small and extra small it will take 12 columns and after that I am taking the h1 the heading and after that the paragraph Now here I am taking some padding top and bottom 5 and the text will be centered. So after this row here is our second row and inside the 6 columns I am taking one more row because we want uh, this uh, the image and the content separately for the image I am taking five column for this image and for the content I am taking seven columns Now let me add the responsiveness the columns that it will take for the small and medium screens and for the large for the small screen right here I am taking the image and whenever you are using image in a bootstrap you have to use the bootstrap class image fluid for the responsiveness of image uh, for the responsiveness I am taking a uh, different columns for the medium I am taking 6 column for the medium screen and 
for the small screen I am taking six column and for the extra small I am also taking six column and now let me copy this columns and paste it right over here so inside this uh, class I am taking the content this name let me copy this name and paste it right here and after that the small tag and after that the paragraph just copy this paragraph as we already have and paste it right here After this paragraph, I am taking some span tags for the icons because we are using the icon inside the span tags. I am taking three span tags and now from the font awesome website, I am taking the icons. So here is the output. As you can see, this is our output because this is not this the content in the center and now let me remove the text center property from the container because we and paste it right here because we want the heading and the paragraph in the center but this content not in the center and the padding top will be fine so now let me refresh first of all I am searching for the Facebook just copy this and paste it inside the spam tag and now just change the Facebook to Twitter and the Pinterest before using the font awesome icons you have to, to paste the uh, this link from the you have to take this link from the font awesome website first of all you have to sign in and they will send this link in the form of kit if you see the output here you can see the icons and this paragraph And the next thing that I am going to add is our style tag. I am taking the style tag inside this head for the body. First of all, uh, in the image, the body radius will be 10. And after that, this uh, paragraph with the class of P1. Uh, the, first of all, the font weight will be light, lighter and the color will be gray and the font size will be 21 pixel and after that all the paragraphs in this team section font width will be lighter and the color will be gray now if we refresh this as you can see we get the same result but right here i am adding some box shadow this is the csmatic box shadow generator you can generate any type of box shadow through this website let's copy this code and paste it inside the image tag so now if we refresh this so here you can see the air shadow the box shadow on this image and now let me uh, design this uh, small tag the font word will be bold and the color will be gray so as you can see now we are going to design our social media icons 
for that let me copy this uh, class of this icons adding some padding top 3 so this is and now I'm going to design this uh, Facebook Twitter and Pinterest icons for that let me copy this class and paste it right over here to design this Facebook icon the color of the Facebook will be I'm taking blue and the font size will be 21 pixel of the icon and now let me copy and paste this two times more because we want the Twitter and the Pinterest now let me change the color and for the Pinterest I'm taking the white color so now if you refresh so here you can see these icons they are close to each other so now let me, let me add some padding to this Twitter the padding top and bottom zero and the left and right will be done so here you can see this is our social media icons and we just designed this one profile member and now if we copy this one and paste it three times just copy this column and paste it one more time inside this row and change the images that we use so here you can see we get the same result but just change the image and now we have to copy the whole row having these two columns just copy this whole row I uh, send so right here I'm taking one more row and paste it two times and just change the image that we used earlier so here you can see we got uh, two rows but they are close to each other so right here I'm taking some padding top to this row as you can see we get the same result and this is very beautiful but these two images are the same so now let me change this image so if we refresh now here you can see we got these four images and this is very beautiful so guys if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel and show me some support and love to like and comment on this video thank you guys